Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from the BF Tag for YouTube channel, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the Pixel Film Studios LUT loader for when you're editing videos in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, the really cool thing is this finally gives a live preview, so you can see exactly what the LUTs will look like. You no longer have to click through various files and then load the LUT and then decide you don't like it and change LUTs again. This is super easy to use, and to show you a couple quick examples of what took me less than two minutes to choose LUTs for, here's a quick edit from Miami. So as I mentioned, it took me maybe two minutes to select the LUTs for that, and that was thanks to the previews through the Final Cut Pro LUT loader from Pixel Film Studio. So the really nice thing about this is it's free. So it's completely free to use the LUT loader, which is awesome if you have your own LUTs. If you don't have LUTs, I recommend going to freshluts.com. That's where I've downloaded quite a few of mine. Or for 40 bucks, you get all the LUTs, which is like 3,300 LUTs. It's actually overwhelming, but it's well organized, and I'll show you what the process looks like really quickly. So on the Pixel Film Studios website, you just buy it. It's either free or $40, as I mentioned, and then you install the plugin. It's a really easy installer. You literally double click, hit install, restart Final Cut, and it's in there. So you can see I have this footage right here that I filmed on my GH5, and what I'm gonna do is select the FCPX LUT loader effect and place it on the timeline on that clip. You can also do it over your entire project if you have an adjustment layer. So I'm just going to do this on the adjustment layer to show you guys. Let's say I want to do my whole project. We have the adjustment layer here, and then I'm going to put the LUT loader on that. And I'm just going to go into the LUT editor in the browser. So what's cool is I can scrub through my entire project. You guys can see that right here. So whatever part I want to focus on. So let's say this shot right here with the kids biking. And then I have a preview right here of exactly what that LUT would look like. So I have the preview in these smaller thumbnails. If I wanna see it larger, I can just click on it and it will apply that to my timeline. And what's cool is you can control the strength and also stack multiple LUTs. So let's say I have the industrial LUT right here. I actually do personally like this look. I use this one a lot. I got it from Fresh LUTs for free. And if I want to tone it down, I can just slide to the left and you can see then slide to the right and it gives me a live preview. Let's say I want to do industrial and McKinnon. So then I can just slide to the left and I can stack these, which is really nice. Now the cool part is you can save this as a new LUT so you can export it and share it with your friends or other people working on a project if you want to. You can also create a combination. So let's say I call this my double trouble if I just want to name it that for fun. And then under combinations, I have that available and you can see that when I click double trouble, it will go into selecting those LUTs, or if I go to my test LUT that I made, it will then do that stack of three. I have a cinematic sun combination, and so you can make all these different combos, which is really nice. The other cool part is you have a search feature, so if I want to do like a dusk search, you can see I have everything with the name dusk, and then if you download LUTs, it's really easy to import them. All you do is you hit the import LUT button up here in the top left, you choose a LUT, like this Blockbuster one right here, and then it shows up and you can add it into your stack. So it is super easy to use. It's very, very time saving because now you have a live preview of your LUTs. And of course, you can apply it to whichever clips you want on your project. You can also just disable it by unchecking here. And you have a couple options on the right side as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you've been using to load your LUTs. Let me know your favorite website to get LUTs, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.